first dates are uncomfortable enough. You know, why, why should we experience them with pants on? I have been single. I have been single. I have been single for exactly one month. I think now that quarantine's actually in effect, any uh, relationships that I'd started are now at the place where it's, hey, how are you doing every three days? I'm coming up on my uh, first year single. I've been single for most of my 20s. I was dabbling in the dating world. Prior to social distancing, I went on a first date with somebody. It went really well. I've dated or been dating one person in particular, and then I started dating a second person. Now that we're in quarantine, we're kind of like just pen pals. <laughs> I had gone on a few dates with uh, this woman. She kind of called things off. And then this hits and it's like, ah, it'd be nice if that would have worked out. <laughs> I was dating so many guys that I was starting to dump people and clear the decks. It's crazy to think about that now. As of recently, I was kind of planning on like really being vulnerable and putting myself out there and like trying to find someone to date. Um, but this has certainly put a halt on everything. We're sisters and we're both single. We have definitely been swiping so much that we've both gotten each other's exes. Now I'm in my parents' house and not dating at all. There's no one. Moving back into my childhood bedroom and still trying to maintain a semblance of adulthood has really been interesting. I feel a ton of pressure to be dating all the time. I've been forced to be super single. It feels really good. When all the news was coming to light and people were realizing that this was serious, um, I think there is a bit of a panic mode in a lot of us. Our apartment has become uh, something between a co-working space and a minimum security prison. And, you know, the inmates are bonding. I'm living with my parents unexpectedly. I left for college when I was 17 and I never thought I would live in this house again. And yet here we are, quarantining together. I'm not seeing any friends. I'm like pretty much here at home <laughs> by myself. I have been on the apps, like on and off, more often than I would if I wasn't stuck at home. I think I have two Tinder conversations going and just, just real lighthearted. Honestly, when this first started, like I was swiping right on so many people. It was like, yeah, it doesn't matter because we're not going to be able to meet, so let's just talk. I have heard of people that are doing Zoom to like have dates and stuff. And honestly, that's kind of adorable and I would be into that. We have been texting basically every day and decided to have our first virtual FaceTime date. I put on my best sweatpants. I took a social distance walk with a boy and <laughs> crazy. He asked, you know, to hang out again. We are going to have a FaceTime soon this week and i'm actually i'm weirdly nervous it's weird that i'm nervous because like we've already had sex it's just gonna be a facetime we're both gonna pour a glass of wine and then just chat there are, are almost more opportunities to meet people in sort of a low pressure video chat setting i absolutely love facetime flirting within the gay community i feel like people are just talking more personally than just like trying to hook up with them immediately. The only light of this whole situation is dating because I am able to like really get to know people. I'm really interested to see how dating changes after this. Once this is over, there's definitely going to be some quarantine babies coming out of this at the rate in which people are gonna start hooking up. I'm optimistic. I feel like we're all just gonna be so happy to have other humans like touch us. I find myself fantasizing about like shaking somebody's hand or like uh, giving a hug to a friend. I think what we may have thought was not acceptable before may be more acceptable now. A lot of people have taken this opportunity to create creative dating spaces like dating happy hours or speed dating that's like video. And I think that's really cool. I feel like the pace of everything has slowed down. This has been a good time to reflect. <laughs> if anything, this, you know, crisis has made us all look up and realize how much each and every one of us really matters and uh, deserves care in every way. I think this is like really something that's going to shape our generation. For the most part, people are a lot more conversational and actually I think trying to make a little bit more of a real connection. So maybe that's a good thing that's going to come out of this. I found another positive. We're going to learn how to talk to people again.